Hey guys, James with Tech Said Life. Today's freeze dried guide is on Snickers. We start with prepping our machine. We set the initial freeze to zero degrees, the dry temp to 135 degrees, and the extra dry time to at least four hours. Be sure to use the included chapters in the video to see any specific part of the guide that you'd like. I am personally all about processes, so I'm gonna start with opening each individual Snickers. Today we're using mini Snickers and we're just cutting them in half. You can use any size bar you want, you just have to cut it down pretty small. I'm cutting 16 of these into halves for a total of 32 pieces per medium harvest right tray. It's pretty easy to cut two or more bars at the same time for faster processing. I'm using your everyday run of the mill kitchen knife and cutting board to cut these in half. No need to get fancy for these mini Snickers. I feel like I've said Snickers so much while editing this video that it doesn't sound like a real word anymore. Snickers? Snickers. Snickers? That's not a word. For this video, I'm giving them some really good spacing, but you can likely get away with five per row instead of four. You'll see what I mean later in the video. Make sure you enable candy mode and don't pre-warm the trays. The caramel would expand too much if you pre-warm it. As a general rule, I always put it on 12 hours so that I can do stuff overnight. You can see how much they expanded here, but you could likely get away with another one or two per row. Store in a mason jar for temporary storage or straight into Mylar bags if you're using or selling them soon. Keep in mind that Snickers has peanuts, so that is something to consider when processing with other candies. You don't want to introduce any nut allergies to other candies unexpectedly. You'll also want to clean and sanitize your machine before processing other types of candies. That's it for freeze-dried Snickers. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow for more awesome freeze-dried guides.